Attorney Levin Camacho and small business owner Kara Flores Mays spoke on behalf of We Are Guahan, beginning with a summary of their concerns with the military buildup. Their concerns focused on the impact the increase on population would have on Guam's educational system, healthcare system, and housing market. But their focus was on the programmatic agreement and the use of Pogget as a firing range complex. For the most part, Rotarians sat and listened. That is, until the floor was open for questions. Again, if anyone has any questions, now would be the time to ask. Yeah, in the movies, you know, when the guys are diving in the water and they're shooting in the water and the bullets are going <laughs> like that and then they stop, how deep do you have to be before <laughs> The rest of the questions were more serious. Phil Flores asked if We Are Guahan was against the military buildup as a whole or just against the use of Pocket as a firing range complex. We're against the buildup as it's been proposed. And what I mean by that is this idea that uh, they're going to spend billions of dollars to make life comfortable for those behind the fence. So we, you know, we understand that's how it is, but then to, turn, to know that there are going to be huge impacts on the people of Guam who live outside the fence, and to, to kind of toss your hands up in the air and say, well, sorry, we can't provide you any assistance because we're, we're prohibited from doing that by law. All of the things that you brought up in the beginning of your speech are all the things that we have to contend with if our economy grows. And right now, we sit out from businesses and don't really see anything other that is quite as immediate as a military building <coughs> and grow our economy. <coughs> We're going to be proud to build more schools. It's going to be good to have more people in our schools. And we are trying, or I'm trying, to struggle just at the end. What's the point? No one's done a cost-benefit analysis. I'm not an economist, but I know that it's not right to look only at the benefit without looking at any cost. And again, I've never seen a proponent of the buildup stand up and say, sure, these are the costs that the buildup is going to create, and this is the burden that it's going to create on the government of Guam. I've lived on Guam for 20 years, and I've been to Pocket Caves, and I've been to Pocket with my kids more times than I can remember. You know, I've never seen anybody. I've never seen anybody that gave a tinker's damn about Pocket until this EIS came out the first time, and somebody saw a way to start running away with being against this building. And I think if the buildup wasn't happening, pocket and pocket cage would be a non-issue, still be a empty, vacant, litter-strewn piece of property. Unless you care about something for the entire time, at no point can you realize how important something is. And I, I, that's incorrect. I think it's, it's awesome. I mean, it's awesome and incredible that people now are looking at culture as being valuable outside of just strictly monetary. People want to learn about Pocket now. And that's, you know, it's unfortunate that it's taken DOD's plans to acquire it and build a grenade launcher and a machine gun range over it, but that doesn't mean that it's any less valid to argue that DOD should stay within its footprint and leave Pocket alone.